Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about control and command words of 8259 PIC. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. The control and command words of this 8259 PIC is given as initialization command word and operational command word. So the initialization command word, shortly we can call it as a ICW, which are needed for the starting the operation of 8259 PIC. So these ICWs are a sequence of 4 bytes, some of which are optional. And coming to this operational command word, shortly we can call it as a OCW, which are the words used to command the 8259 PIC to operate in various interrupt modes. So this is about that ICW and OCW of 8259 PIC. So there is a one important point uh, that is here we have only the one address line for A259 PIC that address line is A0. So which is used to communicate with the chip that is nothing but A259 PIC. Thus the initialization control words are selected using this pin and it is obvious that ICW1 uses a port address different from the other three initialization control words. So if you see that the table, the A0 equal to 0 for ICW1 and A0 equal to 1 for remaining initialization command words ICW2, ICW3 and ICW4. And here this chip selector is always logic 0 to enable that A259 PIC. So for this A259 PIC, there are 4 initialization command words are there. Those are initialization command word 1 command word 2, command word 3, command word 4. Simply shortly we can call it as a ICW1, ICW2, ICW3 and ICW4. So these initialization command words are needed for starting the operation of 8259 PIC. So for initialization of 8259 PIC, here this ICW1 always should be sent first. Whenever a command word is issued with that a0 equal to 0 because we know that A0 equal to 0 for ICW1 and D4 equal to 1. This is uh, interpreted as initialization command word 1. That is simply we can say that ICW1. So this ICW1 starts the initialization sequence of 8259 PIC. So now we will see about that operation of this initialization command word 1. Shortly we can call it as a ICW1. So in this, the first bit is D0. So this bit indicates whether the ICW4 is required or not. So if this D0 equal to 0, there is no need of ICW4. If this bit equal to 1, then there will be a requirement of ICW4. So for 0, there is no requirement of ICW4. And if it is 1, then there is a need of ICW4. This is about the bit D0. And coming to this bit D1, so this represents that whether that A259 PIC is in cascaded mode or not. So if this D1 bit equal to 1, single A259 PIC we have. And if this D1 bit equal to 0, then this A259 PIC in cascaded mode. So in the cascaded mode, we can use more than one PIC. And next the bit is D2, so which is not used for that 8086 microprocessor. Generally this bit D2 is used for 8085 microprocessor. And coming to this bit D3 here, so this bit D3 representing that whether the interrupt is a, a level triggered interrupt or edge triggered interrupt. So the bit D3 selects the options of edge or level triggering for the interrupt lines IR0 to IR7. And coming to this bit D4, which is always high for ICW1, because this A0 equal to 0 and D4 equal to 1, so that it can be interpreted as a ICW1 command word. And coming to this D5, D6 and D7, which are always logic 0 for 8086 microprocessor. So this is about the initialization command word ICW1. And next command word is ICW2. So this word allows us to decide the type of numbers to be associated with the 
interrupt input lines of IR0 to IR7. So this word is sent with A0 equal to 1. The bits D2, D1 and D0 vary from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1 and together with the upper bits D7 to D3. So this bits D0 to D7 decides the type numbers of the interrupts IR0 to IR7. Thus we have to write the bits from D0 to D7 which is shown in that table. So here we have D0, D1 and D2 bits will be there. These are varied from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. So these bits D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7 we can decide the type of numbers to be associated with the interrupt input lines from IR0 to IR7. For example, here we have D0, D1, D2, 0, 0, 0 is there. That is for interrupt line IR0 and 1, 0, 0 is there. That is the type number for the interrupt line IR4. Like that, we can use this ICW2. And the next control word is ICW3. So this control word is necessary only when the two or more A2 finites are cascaded. A single A2 finite can be connected to a 8 slave chips, thus giving the possibility of up to 64 hardware interrupts. That is here we have a, a master PIC is there. For that master we can connect 8 slave PICs. So for each slave PIC we have 8 interrupt input lines will be there. So 8 slave PICs and 8 interrupt input lines are there. So that 8 into 8 total 64. So 64 hardware interrupts will be there in this cascaded mode. So in this cascaded mode there are two separate ICW3 words are there. There is for one master and another one for slave. So the ICW3 for a master specifies that which IR input has a slave connected and another ICW3 for slave informs that the slave which IR input of the master is connected to it. For example, here the bit D3 for the master is equal to 1 and for the slave the ICW3 is given as that is D0, D1 and D2 as for example it is 1, 0, 0 then 1, 0, 0 representing that the slave PIC ID 1 which is connected to the IR line of the master PIC that is D3 line. That is for IR03 line the slave which have ID as 0, 01 connected to the IR03 line of the master. So like this we can identify that to which line that slave is connected by using this ICW3 command word. So this is about that ICW3 of A2 finite PIC. And next command word is ICW4. So in this ICW4, this D4 bit is equal to 1, then this A2 finite PIC will be in special fully nested mode. And if the D4 bit equal to 0, then this A2 finite PIC will be in that nested mode. So this bit is used only in cascaded mode. And at the same time, the A0 line will be e equal to 1 for ICW4. And the next bits are D2 and D3, which are used to decide the buffered mode for master and slave. So here, this D3 bit representing that buffered mode and M slash S bar representing that master or a slave. So here, this bit D3, if it equal to 0, then this A2 finite PAC is in non-buffered mode. And if this D3 bit equal to 1 and the D2 bit equal to 0, then buffered mode for a slave because here S star nothing but S bar that equal to 0 representing that slave. So buffered mode for slave. And next one, the D3 bit equal to 1 and D2 bit equal to 1, then this representing that buffered mode for master. So this is about that D4, D3 and D2 bits. And next D1 bit, so this D1 bit will decide that whether the automatic end of interrupt is there or not. So here 
if this d1 bit equal to 1 then there will be a automatic end of interrupt otherwise normal EOI mode so this is about that d1 bit and next d0 bit representing that whether the processor is a 8085 or 8086 so if this d0 bit equal to 0 then it is that 8085 system operation and if the d0 bit equal to 1 then it is a 8086 system operation so this is about that initialization command word for of 8259 PIC so after this initialization command words we have operational command words are there for 8259 PIC so these operational command words are the words which command the 8259 to operate in various interrupt modes so for this one we will use these operational command words of this 8259 PIC in this we have three operational command words are there those are OCW1, OCW2 and OCW3 so for this 8259 PIC the first operational command word is OCW1 so for this the line A0 of 8259 PIC is equal to 1 so the operation of this uh, OCW1 is to mask or unmask that particular interrupt request for example the bit D0 equal to 1 and the bit D1 equal to 0 then the interrupt request on IR0 line is masked or we can say that disabled and if the D1 bit equal to 0 then the interrupt request on the IR1 line will be accepted that is nothing but unmasked so like that by making that D0 to D7 bits 0 or 1 we can enable or disable the interrupt requests on the lines IR0 to IR7 so this is about the operation of OCW1 and the next operational command word is OCW2 so here in this OCW2 the address line A0 of an A2 finite PIC is equal to 0 and the D7 bit representing that rotate D6 bit representing that uh, specific level and D5 representing that uh, EOI that is nothing but end of interrupt and next D0, D1, D2 representing that IR level and D3 and D4 equal to 0 so now we will see that the operation of this OCW2 clearly so by changing the bit patterns of this OCW2 we can get that different types of operations so that is here for 20H we got that non-specific EOI command and 60 to 67H we will get that specific EOI command and A0H we got that rotate on non-specific EOI command and for 80H we got that rotate in automatic EOI mode which is set and for 00H which is a reset and for C0 to C7H rotate on specific EOI command and from E0 to E7H we got that set priority command and last one is that no operation so like this we will get that different types of operations by using this OCW2 operational command word of 8259 PIC and the last operational command word of this 8259 PIC is OCW3 so for this OCW3 the A0 line equal to 0 for the 8259 PIC and the bit pattern is given as for the D6 bit it is given as enable special mask mode simply we can say that ESMM and D5 is SMM nothing but a special mask mode D4 is 0 and D3 equal to 1 and D2 representing that polled command D1 representing that read register and finally D0 is nothing but RIS nothing but read in service register so the bits uh, D6 and D5 commandly we can do different types of operations that is when ESMM equal to 0 then there will be a disable of a special mask mode and if ESSM equal to 1 SMM equal to 1 there will be a, a special mask mode is set and for 1 0 the special mask mode is reset that is normal mask mode and the bit D2 if it is equal to 1 then we can say it is a polled command if it is 0 it is a no polled command and the bits D1 and D0 commonly will do different operations that is if RR equal to 0 then there is no operation if RR and RIS are equal to 1 then read in service register if RR equal to 1 and RIS equal to 0 then read interrupt request register so this is about that OCW3 of 8259 PIC 
so this is about that operational command words and uh, initialization command words of a259 pic if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends